All right, they can see you, y'all, so y'all can wave. Oh, that looks so nice. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our spring 2021 induction ceremony. As you can see, we look so beautiful, y'all. Look at us and our melanin. Yes, ma'am. Um, thank y'all so much for coming. If you are on the live, let me look here. Um, if you are live with us, thank you so much for being live with us. Make sure to continue to share this live with friends, family, etc. Um, we're excited to have you all here virtually with us today. Um, today, we are inducting 17 wonderful ladies of Morgan State University. I know this has been a virtual experience, but they have done their due diligence in order to join the organization. And I hope that you all uh, enjoyed the process of joining NCNW and came to events and things of that nature and really love the atmosphere. And I'm so excited for you guys to jump full force into NCNW. And so let's talk a little bit about our theme. So as you can see, it's Sisters Beneath the Full Moon. And I'm going to get into that a little bit later in my president's welcome. But I just want to welcome you all today to our spring 2021 induction ceremony. This is our last one of the year. So I know my board is going to be signing off uh, soon. And yeah, with that being said, I'm going to pass it off to my wonderful star spiritualist, Najee Adams, as she will be opening us up, or pardon me, opening us up with prayer. Hello all, and I'm so happy to be here with y'all today. Can everyone please close their eyes and bow their heads so we can get started with our prayer. Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you for bringing all of these beautiful, young, ambitious, and intelligent women to me and my executive, my executive board, my organization, and all of that. I want to just ask you to continue to fill them with knowledge, fill them with love, fill them with all the ambition that they want, fill them with the power to do whatever they want and the strength to continue to strive for everything that they ever feel like they need. If you ever feel like their cup is not full yet, please continue to fill it, run it over, make sure that everything that they need will continue to come to pass. I want them to continue to understand that we are here for them forever. We are going to be their sisters, their support, their allies, their strength, their comforter, anything that they ever need from us. We will always be there for them, even when they're not feeling weak, feeling strong, even when they're feeling weak, even when they're not even there in the mind space or anything like that. We will always be steadfast with them, continue to protect them, love them, and keep them safe from any harm that may come their way. Keep their mind straight and narrow, continue to keep their mind away from anything that is not like you, Lord. And it's in Jesus' name that I pray, amen. Amen, amen, amen. 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 All right, so with that, I'm gonna go ahead and share our presentation for this evening. Give me one moment. Okay, I share my screen. All right. So the National Council of Negro Women, Morgan State University Section 2021 Spring Induction Ceremony, we just had our welcome and we just did our opening prayer uh, by our star spiritualist, Najee Adams. Thank you again, Najee. Next, I'm going to introduce our advisor, Miss Tanya Rush, AKA Mama Rush. She is an advisor of the National Council of Negro Women, has been forever. And unfortunately, I do not believe she is joining us tonight. And I ask that you continue to keep Mama Rush in your prayers as she recently just underwent surgery last week. So I ask that you all keep her in your prayers. Mama Rush is also served as, um, an executive position for Morgan State University as the vice president, uh, a part of the Office of Student Affairs. And so, this is Mama Rush. Please get to know her. She lives, live, or leaves kind words whenever she speaks. But the one thing that is always impactful is that she says to us a lot is women can, or girls compete, women empower. So please, when you hear that statement, the first thing that we think about is Mama Rush. So yes, keep her in her your prayers. Okay. Next, we're going to introduce our executive board. So I'm gonna start and then we're gonna follow. So, hello everyone. My name is Jada Oak. Need to interrupt. The presentation is not showing on the live. Okay. 
Oh, I understand why. Okay, give me one second. Thank you. It's because it's over here. Okay, this should be. Okay, give me one second, you all. This works a bit differently. There's the one else sharing, but I should be able to get it to work now. So if I share my screen now, then everybody should see it. Let's see. Okay. All righty. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, so let me go back. <laughs> let me go back some. Um, let's see. Okay, the introduction of the 2021 executive board. And actually, I want to go back to uh, the last couple of slides. Here it is. So I just want to show this graphic. Let's see if they can see it now. Okay, they can see it now. Okay, cool. So National Council of Negro Women, Morgan State University section. Uh, 2021 spring induction ceremony. So oh, let's move forward now. Do, do, do. Advisor. Okay. Introduction of Ebor. So hello, my name is Jada Grant. I am the president of NCNW. I am from Baltimore, Maryland, and I'm a junior computer science student. Uh, fun fact about me. Uh, I have a twin sister that goes to Howard, uh, which is really cool. So HBC repping, and I'm just super excited to be here tonight to uh, induct you all. Good evening, everybody. My name is Deja Twyman. I'm a junior nursing major from Washington, DC. And a fun fact about me is I'm a middle child. Mm -hmm. Oh, I serve as the first vice president for the 2020-2021 academic school year. This is Ajene Thomas. She is our second vice president of NCW MSU. She is also a graduate of Morgan State University, um, graduated last semester, and she's from Trenton, New Jersey. And currently she is a fourth grade teacher for the Montgomery County Public School System. She could not join us tonight due to some uh, other circumstances, but I know she is in here in spirit. So I know Nay is uh, really, really proud of you ladies and, and you all have been interacting with Nay the most. So again, thank you so much, Nay. And um, she'll watch this back. So shout out Nay. Hey, Nay. <laughs> Hi, um, my name is Naya Bowman. I am the current third vice president um, for the 2020-2021 academic school year. Um, I am from North New Jersey. I am a graduating senior. Um, I'm an um, elementary education major. And a fun fact about me, I'm also a middle child and yeah, that's it. Okay. Greetings, family, friends, Morgan Knights, and the amazing ladies of the National Council of Negro Women, Morgan State University section. I am Javonna Nicole West, a graduating senior political science major in the School of Behavioral and Social Sciences, hailing from the gorgeous Prince George's County, Maryland. And I am your Miss National Council of Negro Women, Morgan State University section for the 2020-2021 academic school year. A fun fact about me is um, Morgan State University is the only school I applied to when I was applying for college. Good evening, everyone. My name is Alana Brandt, and I currently serve as the reporting secretary for the 2020-2021 academic school year. I'm from Columbia, Maryland. I am a junior nursing major here. And one fun fact about me is um, I used to play volleyball in high school, and I would love to get back into it. Good evening, everyone. My name is Journey Hudson. I currently serve as the corresponding secretary for 
the 2020-2021 academic school year. I'm from Yonkers, New York, um, and I'm a graduating senior majoring in sports administration. A uh, fun fact about me is that J. Cole is my favorite artist. <laughs> This is the R. Washington. She is the treasurer of NCNW MSU. She is from New York and she is also a senior strategic communication major. Um, one fun fact about her is my girl who's an avid dancer. She can dance her little tail off. So if you've ever seen her dance before, I think she was on the Morgan Nets at one point. So I would say that's a fun fact about Dee Dee. Um, she could not be here tonight in this moment, but I know she's also here in spirit. So love you, Dee Dee. And we're going to move on to the next one. Lady. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Paige Chapman, and I'm the Financial Secretary of the National Council of Negro Women, Morgan State University section. I am from Prince George's County, Maryland. I'm a senior accounting major, and one fun fact about me is that I was born a twin. Greetings and good evening, everyone. My name is Brianna Rusley, but everyone calls me Daisy. I serve as the historian for the 2020-2021 academic school year. I'm a theater arts senior. I'm a theater arts major senior, and I'm from Miami, Florida. And a fun fact about me is that I'm vegan. I'm a plant-based princess. <laughs> Hey y'all, my name is Najee Adams. I am a senior accountant major, well, a graduating senior accountant major with a minor entrepreneurship from Baltimore, Maryland. And I serve as your star specialist for the 2020-2021 academic school year. And a fun fact about me is that if you ever see me wear it, I've either edited or made the wig that I make <laughs> that I wear, okay? Good evening, everyone. My name is Katira Howe, and I serve as the custodian for the 2020 and 2021 academic school year. I am a junior biology major with a chemistry minor from Paulsboro, New Jersey. And a fun fact about me is I have six siblings and two dogs. Thank you, thank you. So that is the beautiful New Dawn Executive Board for the 2020-2021 academic school year. So next, I'm going to pass it off to our historian, Daisy, as she will read off section history. Greetings, everyone. Okay, so now presenting our section history for Morgan State University. The National Council of Negro Women Morgan State University section was chartered on September 16, 1997, and was the first collegiate section in the state of Maryland. Since 1997, NCNW MSU has worked to honor Dr. Mary McLeod Bethune, as well as Dr. Dorothy Irene Heights memory and vision by leading and building a strong foundation for African American women and their communities. NCNW MSU section colors are lilac and black because our lilac and black keeps us intact. Okay, man, I, see, I saw y'all with that. Okay. Oh. And now our national history. The National Council of Negro Women was founded by Dr. Mary McLeod Bethune on December 5th, 1935 as an organization of organizations in order to represent the national and international concerns of black women. NCNW is the only African-American organization owning property on Pennsylvania Avenue between the Capitol and the White House. City rights revolutionary, Dr. Dorothy Irene Height served as the fourth and the longest standing national president of NCNW serving 41 years. The current president of NCNW is Dr. Johnetta B. Cole. NCNW currently has over 240 community and campus-based sections. Okay, good evening again, everyone. Um, so now we are going to, so every year, every semester um, as a part of the induction process, sisters uh, have to meet a certain amount of requirements. One of these requirements is the Extra Mile Project. 
this year's project was, so our theme is Beneath the Full Moon. Um, so their challenge was to explain how them, themselves um, and joining the sisterhood is parallel to the moon phases and how it will follow them through their sisterhood as well as through their Morgan State journey. So now we're going to share some of these uh, projects with you guys, enjoy. Hello, just to give my introduction, my name is Ariana Hood and I'm a first year business administration major from Beloit, Wisconsin. And I am making this video to explain how I believe NCNW will impact my journey while attending the illustrious Morgan State University. So the first question asks, how will sisterhood impact my journey while at Morgan State? I believe sisterhood will impact my journey because one, it will give me a safe space and learning space to converse with other females who attend um, Morgan State. And I'll be able to discuss different topics and situations that I may be dealing with or maybe that the other girls are dealing with. And whether it be me or them, one of us would have, will have, or maybe already experienced the topic that we are um, talking about at hand. And just we'll be able to give each other advice on the different situations and give each other different perspectives and outlooks on things. So that's what I really value and think that sisterhood will bring to me is more of a comfort, home, connection, sisterhood type feeling. Um, how can I, the next question says, how can I work to get to the last phase of sisterhood. So the last phase of sisterhood talks about realization. Now, I believe when it comes to realization, you must put all factors into play. So I believe um, the way I can work to get to this last phase of the moon is one, being active. I remember at the first interest meeting, they emphasized it so much. You get out what you put in. And I agree with that statement 100%. You cannot expect to, um, feel like wanted and a part of something and just like you know loved unless you also put in the work yourself you can't just expect others to pour 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 but then you don't give anything in return you know what i'm saying so that's one of the ways that i feel i'll be able to reach one of those another way i believe i can reach um the last phase of sisterhood would also be you know learning to open up more and be more, um, what's the word I'm thinking of? Be more open and let my guard down and like let other people in so that I can create that um, sisterhood feel and connection with the other girls within the NCNW uh, sisterhood. And then the last question says, once I enter the full moon phase of sisterhood, how does that look? So first, I believe that looks like being active once again within the organization, staying in touch with my other sisters, you know, checking in on them, seeing how things are going, like, hey, do you want to go out and get some coffee? You know, stuff like that. Just That just makes the person feel loved and thought about and all of that stuff, because that's a good feeling at the end of the day. Like a lot of people like to know that they were thought of without actually act, actually having to ask for it. So that's what I believe that will look like. I also think um, it'll look like um, me giving out more information about NCNW to other people around campus, other um, girls, some of my other friends, you know, being like, the light within their lives and them seeing me within this organization and then that giving them a revelation like hey maybe i should check this organization out you know see what they're about because you know ariana seems to enjoy ncnw so let me give it a try as well um the next part of the question says how and then how will i carry that out throughout the rest of my time at morgan state university i feel like okay so the first question is how can sisterhood impact your journey at MSU? I think that it can impact me in a very positive way. Um, so I said that like sisterhood can help me become more social and build new bonds with people. 
So it, like if I become more social, um, that will allow me to like speak out more, maybe network and um, that will definitely like lead to opportunities. It could also like help me be more successful at the university because like for certain classes, I have to, you know, really use my communication skills. So this will just help me like grow and improve my speaking skills. Um, how can you work to get to the last phase of sisterhood? I said that I can participate in all of the events and meetings and I can always have a positive attitude and open mindset. And I can always like ask questions if I ever need help with anything. And the last question was, once you get to the full moon phase, how does that look for you? How will you carry that throughout the rest of your time at MSU? Um, so I basically said that getting to last phase, it means that like um, basically I'm get I can bond with the current members of the organization and um like I will like improve or have better communication skills. And also I will learn a lot and know more. Like I will know more about like black history and black figures and overall know more about the organization. Hi, I am Jennifer McGurwin, a sophomore sociology major at the illustrious Morgan State University, and I am interested in joining the National Council of Negro Women MSU section. Um, and of course, this is video is just the extra mile video um, to get introduced into the organization. Um, so the first question is how sisterhood can impact my journey at Morgan State University. Um, so far, even though I'm only a sophomore, I've really noticed that in order to get through college, especially undergrad, like you have to have a support system, people that you can fall back on and trust and really just kind of have people to have your back and push you and help you succeed. And I feel like that's really essential in graduating on time and having fun at school. So I feel like having a sisterhood joining us is having a sisterhood through NCNW would honestly be amazing, you know, because I feel like a sisterhood is just so essential. I mean, I have a twin sister and it's like, we're so close and like we rely on each other so much. And it's like, I can't even imagine how having, how being a part of the largest female organization on campus would be like. And I feel like I'll just gain so many sisters and like sisters for life, honestly. Um, and yeah, I honestly just feel like just a support system that I, I can give my sisters, my future and sisters, or my, or they, like, they can help me, like, honestly, I just really love that. It's really been just a hard time with COVID and then just kind of transitioning into undergrad um, and just kind of being at home. I feel like I've kind of lost that experience. Um, and kind of just like meeting new people is kind of different. It's harder. And I feel like just being an NCNW would just be amazing and finding a sisterhood at Morgan. Um, and the next question is, how can you work to get to the last phase of sisterhood? So the last phase, I know, kind of in this semester is kind of NCNW's <laughs> the theme is kind of like the full moon phase. And basically, I honestly feel like just kind of keeping engaged and I feel like just opening myself up to meeting new people because I know that's just like, that's like a big thing. Um, I feel like about college is just kind of being open and on honest and just like, I guess transparent to new people because it's like, we're, we're going to be in a totally different an environment. Because um, I went, I came into Morgan State only really knowing less than a handful of people. And um, unfortunately I was only on campus for a few months and I wasn't, I wasn't as comfortable. I didn't find my sisterhood. So um, I had a hard time kind of keeping, uh, I guess a, a friend group that would be supportive just cause I was really shy and everything like that. Um, and then of course with COVID it's just so much harder being online. But even with the past events and initiatives that I've gone to for NCNW, like it's honestly just been so amazing, like 
how friendly and how nice everyone's been. And just, I feel like I can feel the support through the computer, which is just through online, through Zoom, through the computer. And I feel like that's honestly just amazing. Um, I feel like that I'm already connecting with other people through NCNW. And honestly, I can't even imagine, I can't wait to see how the remaining time I have in at Morgan and I guess a lifetime as a part of NCNW, hopefully, will bring, especially being a part of the sisterhood. Um, and to get to that journey, mostly, I feel like, yeah, just kind of me being open and just kind of get, getting myself out of my comfort zone in terms of like trying new things, trying new events, and just talking and meeting with people. And like, even though if I'm really nervous, just trying to keep myself open-minded. Um, and then once you enter, and then sorry, the last question is, once you enter the full moon phase of sisterhood, how does that look for you? And will you carry that through the rest of your time at Morgan State University? For me, hmm, full moon phase. For me, I feel like it's, hmm. I feel like it would look for me, I would really hope just for me to have a strong group of friends at Morgan State University that I can rely on and just love and support them. And then in terms of looking, how it would look to me, I honestly feel like that's such a hard question just because I always like to think like with COVID, like no one could have imagined, at least for me, I couldn't have imagined how that would have changed my time at Morgan. So I feel like I'm not really sure. Um, I'm based on my own system with my sister and like my close friends who are basically my sisters <laughs> outside of Morgan. Um, honestly, just for me, it's the late night phone calls, you know, the study groups that we have, it's like just the little meetups. And it's like, you know, even, even through COVID, even being through Zoom, it's like when we talk, it's like we never, like even, even if it's on Zoom and we haven't seen each other in a long time with my sisters that I have now through my, my own sister, my friends, it's like, even if it's been a while when we meet up, it's like we never left. You know, and I feel like just always having that person that I can rely on, call, um, and also being that person for someone else. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I think that's kind of how it would look for me, how, how that would look for me, just kind of always kind of having, like knowing I have, I, that someone has my back and having someone else's back all the time. Um, and how will I carry that throughout the rest of my time at Morgan State? Um, I think just continuing to support people and throughout the rest of my time at Morgan, I feel like it'll really help me be engaged and kind of help me be engaged. And I feel like just continue to meet new people and make more connections. And yeah, I feel like throughout my time at Morgan, ah, two more years I have. Hmm. About the rest of my time at Morgan State University. And also, I feel like just being a part of a sisterhood, especially through and through Morgan State University and HBCU and just kind of loving, supporting other Black women would honestly kind of just, I would hope to just change other people's lives and kind of, you know, continue to support my future sisters or, um, my future sisters this semester and in the future for whoever else joins NCNW and also not even just through NCNW. I feel like just kind of creating a bond with people throughout campus. And I feel like just kind of maintaining the values of NCNW um, throughout, I guess my time at Morgan State University. And yeah, I think it was just, be amazing to just kind of be a part of an organization that's you know was <laughs> created by a black woman and just I think it's just kind of amazing because I feel like this past year 
um, at least personally for me, and I'm assuming for others too, it's kind of like so many Black women are kind of embracing being a Black woman and kind of noticing like we're the blueprint of things um, and kind of just loving who we are. And I can't even imagine being another person. And I would hope that I can radiate this confidence and this this love for myself for being a Black woman onto other people, onto other sisters throughout my time at Morgan State University. Um, yeah, I'm sorry I kind of rambled, <laughs> but yeah, this is kind of how I feel about NCNW and I look forward to the rest of my time at Morgan and I guess forever. Hello, my name is Sydney Broom. I'm a second semester sophomore majoring in business administration and I'm from Baltimore, Maryland also. How sisterhood can impact your journey at Morgan State University? Sisterhood can positively impact my journey at Morgan State, such as helping me gain long lasting friendships with like minded, determined women such as myself. Being connected with ambitious friends can help me succeed through the college experience. Also, it can help me become adjusted to the campus due to the fact that I am a transfer student. How can you work to get to the last phase of sisterhood? By being attentive to the Zoom calls, emails, Instagram posts, and communicating with other sisters that are in the same process as me, we're able to help each other out. Once you enter the full moon stage of sisterhood, how, how did that look for you and how will you carry that throughout the rest of your time at Morgan State University? The full moon phase of sisterhood would allow me to be able to lead, empower, and advocate for my sisters on and off campus, proudly representing the National Council of Negro Women through the next three years of me attending Morgan State University and also when I graduate. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Nia Cowling. I'm a second semester sophomore marketing major from Baltimore, Maryland. How sisterhood can impact your journey at Morgan State University. Sisterhood plays a tremendous role in becoming a strong African-American woman. Sisterhood to me is about having a strong support system and network who you can reach out to for advice and guidance. Being able to convey loyalty through bonding with those around you who share similar values and characteristics. Sisterhood is a form of solidarity and well-being. This will help impact my journey at Morgan State University because I will have a strong support system to lean on as I matriculate throughout my educational career at Morgan State University and beyond. How you can work to get the last phase of sisterhood. Being capable of reaching the last phase of sisterhood will consist of networking, advocating for myself and others, and attending as many organizational meetings and bonding activities as possible. Attending as many events and initiatives will be crucial in my journey of sisterhood and learning new, influential, and informative things to work towards becoming a better woman. NCNW's initiative is to provide community service all while bettering yourself as a woman and building those around you, all while obtaining sisterhood with other women around you and building lifelong connections. Once you enter the full moon phase of sisterhood, how does that look for you and how will you carry that throughout the first, or I'm sorry, the rest of your time at Morgan State University? Entering the full moon phase of sisterhood will consist of me reaching my full potential. Having made many meaningful connections and friendships is essential in reaching the full moon phase of sisterhood. The full moon phase of sisterhood will identify and convey my readiness and commitment to this organization as well as my dedication to making an effort to improve the community. These traits will be instilled in me throughout my collegiate experience and future endeavors. I will be sure to take full advantage of all the opportunity, opportunities NCNW presents to me with all while making the effort to create an infinite sisterhood with my future sisters. You present me with all while making the effort to create an infinite sisterhood with my future sisters. All right, all right. 
So we, we just finished showing some of the sisters or women that uh, gave us their extra mile video. Everyone did one. Those are just five, I believe. So thank y'all so, so much for sending out videos. We enjoyed watching them and I hope that you enjoy, um, you all enjoyed actually listening to them. Okay, so next we have our, um, oh, my president's welcome. Wow. So this is my time to kind of give a speech to you ladies and to leave you guys with some, some kind words. So I'm going to do something really quick on my screen. Um, hopefully this helps. Okay, so I think you guys can see me. Oh, I can see me. Okay, great. So being a member of NCNW involves a lot of different components. And tonight we are celebrating the women that are joining in this space. Last semester we were able to have ladies join our beautiful organization virtually. And this semester we're doing the same. And so we're just trying to figure out uh, you know, the questions that people pose, how can you make sure that you have a connection or a substantial connection with women through your phone, through Zoom, through social media, and also with the organization, I think that NCNW prides ourselves of able, being able to carry that out, not only from last semester, but intentionally carrying it out to this semester. Now, I always have a word on me. Y'all know me, I always have a great word and I'm gonna try not to cry today. Uh, that is my goal, not to cry. So, okay. So we did the full moon phase, like we're at the full moon phase of, of NCNW and I love our theme this year. And actually if anybody's into spirituality and things of that nature, I think there's ought to be a full moon in Pisces. So just a little nugget. But if you remember when we sent our interest meeting on social media, we had a moon guide for sisterhood and there was some steps in regards to this guide. So one was the crescent moon phase, setting your intentions. The quarter moon stage, taking action. The gibbous, the gibbous stage, dedication. And the full moon stage is realization. And you're like a full four sense. And so here are three tips that I would give to you in regards to coming into NCNW. And hopefully I don't cry. Okay. So the first tip is get involved. And I know that sounds like so blanket, right? Like if you tell somebody to get involved, it's like, okay, how? And especially in this COVID space, I, that question can be posed times a thousand, right? And so one thing that I would say, and, and, and you know, just I've been in NCW since I came to Morgan fall 2018. I've been able to serve on the board for my second year, served as a third vice president last year and served as the president this year. And one thing I would say is the gene will get involved. There are much, or efforts that NCNW does that actually impact, or no, all of them impact the community. And, and one thing that was, I felt that calling to me is actually impacting the community. So being able to go and do concessions at the time, you know, I wish we could do concessions now, but at the time I'm going to do concessions. Um, another thing that we used to do, and I love to this day, hashtag lunch bag, which was a, a service that we did where we created lunches and lunch bags and passed them out to the community. Also being a part of some today services on the weekend to clean up the community, things of that nature, you always gotta get involved. Not only does getting involved make you, uh, uh, kind of give you a broader sense of what other people's lives can be like, it also connects you with your sisters. I have met so many people um, through going to service and I know that it will be an impactful experience for you all when you are able to go to service in person. And virtually, you know, we are able to still get involved. I mean, that comes to showing up to events, you know, having fun with us. That also involves, you know, being able to interact with us on social media. Uh, we love a good comment. We love a good, you know, flood. You know, we love all that. And so getting involved will not only make your experience better, it also promotes to NCNW's mission and continues to have NCNW glowing. So I, I would ask, you know, that's one of my tips to get involved. The next tip is to truly become a sister. And in order to do that, you have to recognize what the qualities of being a sister is. Now, granted, you all have definitely helped and learned so far in regards to being a sister uh, with the extra mile video and being able to come to events and you kind of get a sense, but there are some qualities that go into that. One quality is just, you know, holding your sister accountable. Another quality is actually being a shoulder for your sis. And we've also got to be the cheerleaders, you know what I'm saying? So make sure that you actually full force become a sister. Um, I know we have relationships with our sisters and friends now, but when it comes to a space like this where you might not know your sis personally, but you know that she shares the same passions as you in regards to being a part of the space, it makes it more easier to think about. So I would say um, 
Becoming a sister is really important. Oh, becoming a sister is truly important. And I hope that next semester, as we go into Morgan's reopening, that we're able to get together and fellowship. Okay, the next tip that I have for you when you come into NCNW is to make sure that you reap the reward. NCNW is so much fun. It is so much fun, y'all. I can't even underestimate how much fun I've had in NCNW. You know, when you do work and you work hard, you can also play hard. And so I would say being able to even be with your sisters, being able to be on campus, even being in events and kicking and laughing, shout out to Deja, um, being able to interact with other sisters and everything like that is so much fun. So I would say make sure that you reap the reward. Um, you will look back on your four years at Morgan and you'll say, oh my gosh, I had a great time. And, you know, right now the pandemic is definitely still impacting us, but I would say that, you know, look at the, well, it's hard to say, like, look at the glass half full when sometimes there's moments where motivation just might not be there or that you might just really miss your moments of being on campus. But I just ask that, you know, continue to pray, continue to appreciate what we have in the now. And those are my three tips for you um, as you come into NCNW. And so um, from me to you, I love you all so much. I'm so glad that y'all are here. Um, I did this without crying. So Jada really deserves a reward uh, <laughs> because I did this without shedding a tear. But I hope that you all have, you know, or grow to love NCNW as much as I do. And I hope that, you know, that you all appreciate tonight. And so with that being said, that ends my speech. I think I did a pretty great job, you know, that's off my shoulders. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and pass it off to Deja as she will be introducing you ladies. And so one thing that I will ask you all to do is when Deja says your name, I'm gonna give Deja about 10 seconds or so. And I'm gonna to try to pin your video as well. So when Deja, Oh, pardon me. When Deja said your name, I'm going to pin your video and then so people can see you. Okay, let me unpin my video, go back to the gallery. And Deja, whenever you can, go ahead and pull up the presentation. Okay, one second. Okay. How did I do, y'all? Did I do good? Yes, yeah, so, yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, how did I do this now? Hold up. Okay. All right, can I see it? Yes, yes. we can. And, and give me a second as well as I'm going to pull up the participants. And I'm going to, um, whenever I see a name, I'm going to pin it. Okay. Okay, go ahead, Deja. Okay, so first we have Ronicia Alexander. Go ahead and wave, Ronicia. <laughs> uh, Michaela Bowman. Okay, wave, Michaela. <laughs> uh, Sydney Broom. Okay. Ooh, okay, Sydney's video's not on, but we can go to the next one. Okay. Uh, Kenya Chase Mercer. Okay. Okay, wave Kenya. <laughs> hey. Hey. All right, Nia Cowling. Okay, give me one second. Okay, she I don't she have to turn her video off. Okay. Next person. My video's on. Hi guys. Oh, oh, hold up. Hold up. Let me get you. Let me get you. Um uh why am I having such a hard time with this? Give me one second. I want everybody to be shown. Oh, okay. I did the other one. Okay, wave. There you go. Ah. Okay, uh, Michaela Dickerson. Wave, Michaela. <laughs> Kayla Graham. Graham. I'm sorry. Hi. Okay. Ooh, hold up. Hold up. Let me get you real quick. So you're okay. Okay, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Kayla Harris. Okay. Wave, Michaela. <laughs> Ariana Hood. Kayla Graham. There you go, Ariana. Ariana. 
Faith Hutnell. Hutnell, I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong. Please correct me. Jada Jones. Nia Lillard. Jayla Manning. Hi. Okay. Uh, Jacqueline Mugerwa. Can you please correct me, please? You How do you pronounce it? Me. I said it right? Okay. Jennifer, Jennifer Mugera, Mugerwa. I'm sorry. Messiah Stanley. And Anaya Stevenson. All right, Deja, can you stop sharing really quick? Okay. Okay, let me do gallery view. All right. Okay. There. Okay, there we go. Okay, wave everyone. Congratulations to uh, the spring 2021 inductees, yay! All right, so next I am going to share my screen once more. We are going to do the pledge. We're gonna do the candle ceremony, which doesn't involve a candle. Uh, we're gonna do announcements. We're going to do our section song and then we're gonna do our closing prayer. So give me one second while I pull up my screen. I'm going to go back to the starting screen for people that are on the live. So we will have the same method as we did before and we will be right back. Right. So here is our pledge. Now, I know that we won't be able to say it all together. So I ask that you all try to say it with yourself muted. And I'm going to, well, actually, let's see, let's see. Katira, Katira, do you want to read the pledge? Yeah, I can read the pledge. Okay, awesome. So just count us down when you read it, people, or ladies, make sure that you are muted and mouth it, or just say it. <laughs> okay, you guys ready? Three, two, one. It is our pledge to make a lasting contribution to all that is finest and best in America to cherish and enrich her heritage of freedom and progress by working for the integration of her peoples, regardless of race, creed, color, or national origin, into her spiritual, social, cultural, and civic life, and thus aid her to achieve the glorious destiny of a true and unfettered democracy. Thank you, Katira. Thank you guys for following along. Okay, next. So this is the point where we have our candle ceremony, but because we do not have candles today, I mean, if you have a candle in your home and you brought one, I know that you could definitely pull it out. But for those that are going to be winging it as I am, we can pull out the, you know, the handy dandy flashlight, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to do, it's like a call and response. I'm going to be uh, the leader and you guys are going to be the response. And I would ask that you have your candle or your, cellular phone uh, lights to, to use. And after we're done, we're going to turn it off. 
So I need one person, any of the new sisters, to volunteer themselves to be the actual response that we can hear. And everyone else will do the same thing that we just did in our last, in the pledge. So does anybody want to volunteer to be the response? I can do it. Okay, great. All right. So let's, let me turn my flashlight on too. I'm not going to blind anyone, but I'm going to do like this. Okay, ready? Dear sisters, this candle represents each and every ancestor, past and present. How we all confide in fellowship together. How we all join to make a better place, not only on campus, but within a community. Not forgetting the foundation that I am my sister's keeper. Dear sisters, this candle light represents the fire that brings us all closer together. May the warmth of our vibes and the genuine of our hearts keep you near, sister, past and present. Okay. How we all confide in. Sorry. Okay. May the warmth of our vibes and the genuine of our hearts keep you near, even in the darkest of times, because. I am my sister's shelter. Dear sisters, this wax represents the term oil you will face throughout your matriculation. Things you may need personally to melt away will do as you mature. Although you may feel as you're alone, please know that. I see you, sister. I am your reflection. I am my sister's keeper. Sister. I am my sister's shelter. Keep going. I am my sister's reflection. I am my sister's keeper. There you go. I am my sister's keeper. I am my sister's shelter. I am my sister's reflection. I am my sister's keeper. Clap it up for yourselves. Or don't clap if you have a candle. But yay! Okay. Let me turn my flashlight off now. <laughs> okay. Let me check everything out. All right, all right. So next we have some announcements. So I'm going to pass it off to, wow, who am I going to pass it off to? Let's see. Let's pass it off to Paige because, or Paige or Giovanna. So Paige, you say your announcement and then Giovanna, you say yours. And then Katira, just bring up the legacy pantry again. Okay, Giovanna. Okay, hey y'all, it's me again. Um, this month we are currently doing a feminine hygiene product drive based on Women's Empowerment Month. So uh, if you go to our Instagram page, if you don't know it, it's ncnw underscore msu. If you go to our Instagram page, you will find the uh, flyer that has the list of items that we are accepting for the drive. We also have a link in the bio for our Amazon wish list where you can purchase items off of there as well. For sisters that are a part of NCNW, you can receive community service hours through this service. But we just want you guys to donate because we're just trying to help the women out at the Cares Home, which is a local women's shelter here in Baltimore. Thank you, Giovanna. And I'm sorry, I caught on page thinking that there was announcements for fundraising, but just stay on the lookout, especially new sisters for um, para and things of that nature. We'll keep you posted on that. And then I'll pass it off to Katira for her announcement. Hi, everyone. My name is Katira. Again, I am the custodian for this academic school year. And just because we are virtual, it hasn't stopped our e-board or our sisterhood. And we have created a virtual legacy pantry link and legacy pantry is items that you can donate to sister and sisters in need. So uh, the link will be in the chat on the YouTube below and we would love your donations. Thank you. Thank you so much, Katira. Okay, y'all, so next is the song. I'm gonna share my screen again. Um, please, please, um, I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna be the one to sing. Y'all, I can't sing. 
Um, I, I really can't. So we're going to just bear with me. Um, I'm going to give a bit raspy. I don't know. I don't know who else is going to sound like that. Just, yeah, just, just bear with me. Um, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm going to try my best. And all right. So I'm going to go to this next slide. So y'all, the song, we just did announcements. It actually goes to the tune of um, I Got Your Back by the Jackson 5, by, or I Want You Back by the Jackson 5, right? And so I wish that we had a recording of the song, but because we don't, <laughs> I'm going to sing it for you. All right, so I'm going to actually try to pull up the song or the the actual, um, I don't even know how to say it, the actual, the instrumental, sorry, the instrumental, if my computer allows me to, but if not, we're going to do it acapella, you know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> all right. Actually, this might be kind of hard. Okay, so I won't do that then. I'm just going to sing it acapella and y'all, y'all know the tune, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is so bad. Okay. When I had time to myself, I sat and thought about NC and W and how it came about. It started in 1935 by Mary McClapathoo. Strong in the community and strong for me and you. National Council of Negro Women, MSU Section 1997, first and MD, Allison and Morgan Women. Hold up, 2021, and sisters will do it again. I got your back, na, 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 na. I got your back, mm -hmm, baby. I got your back, yeah, 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 yeah. I got your back. Baby. that's the song so i'm uh, i'm calling one of my eber members because y'all gonna stay in next uh because i know you only want to sing okay so let's see who am i going to pick to sing this song with me hmm, hmm. i'm going to pick <laughs> alana <laughs> i really knew it was coming i was trying not to make eye contact. i came off so fast <laughs> so a lot of you so we're doing the same time the or song? what Oh, no, 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 no. It's all on you, baby. Okay. I'm not, you know, the most musically inclined, but I, I'm going to try my best. Okay. I'm going to do a little rhythm in my head. When I had time to myself, I sat and thought about NCNW and how it came about. It started in 1935 by Mary McLeod Bethune. Strong in the community and strong for me and you. National Council of Negro Men, MSU Section 1997, First and MD, Outstanding Morgan Woman, 2021, and Sisters Will Do It Again. I got your back. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I got your back. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got your back. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I got your back. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got your back. <laughs> that was so good. Yes. Alana. Okay, y'all. So that's the song. And normally we all sing it together. So just know that when I, next time I see y'all, I expect you know y'all to sing this song with me. So I'm not by myself. Uh thank you, Alana, for doing that on the spot with me. Okay. All right. So next, I know this kind of went fast, but next we have our closing prayer. So I am going to pass it back on to Najee Adams. And then I'm going to give some final remarks. So let me stop sharing. Again, let me. All right. So Najee, take it away for our final uh, closing prayer. All right, y'all. So yes, we're closing it out, but I'm happy to close it out, honestly, because now it means that y'all officially my sisters. Y'all can throw them ends up. You feel me? <laughs> but go ahead, bow your head. Close your eyes and we're gonna get into it real quick. So Heavenly Father, I know all of these women are so, so strong. Like you've brought them here, brought them through their journey just to become an ancestor. And I know that they've had all the power to do everything that they want in their life. Lord, continue to please bless them, continue to help them through their matriculation, through Morgan or whatever institution they go to, because regardless, they will always be our ancestors. I know that they may not know as much about NCNW as all of us, but I hope that they grow to love, grow to learn, and grow to become everything that NCNW plans for us to be. 
I hope they continue to be active, continue to give and be a participant in not only themselves, not only their organization, but in their community. I know that the love that they feel for NCNW will continue to grow as it is for us. And I know that the love that we have for NCNW will perpetuate through them and continue to flood over to their lives. Lord, continue to bless my sisters, bless my new sisters, bless my current sisters, my alum sisters, all of the sisters that continue to be a part of NCNW, continue to push us to be better and continue to teach us how to do the things that you want us to do. In Jesus' name, I just want to thank you and continue to love them, continue to protect them, and continue to hold them close to you. And thank you, and I want to say amen. Amen, amen, amen. Yeah. All right, ladies. <sighs> okay. We have come to the end of our ceremony. I am so proud of each and every one of you that not only did you take out the time to be interested in NCW, but you are also are now here in the midst of everything that life throws at us. I'm so glad that you all are my sisters now. And everybody throw those ends up where I can see them. Throw them up, throw them up, throw them up. It is the sign language. And it's like a little, you know what I'm saying? Two fingers over, thumb under, two fingers next to it. I hope that was a good little explanation. Ends up, y'all deserve it. I love y'all so, so much. We made it through out tears. And thank you all that came to support your ladies today at the induction ceremony. We appreciate it so, so much. I love you guys so much. And with that, peace out, peace out. Last induction ceremony. We out, new dog. We out. No, because I ain't seeing enough ends. Y'all better throw them ends up. Y'all uh, official no. now. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yes, yes. All right. So like I said, new dawn. We out last, last, last induction ceremony. And to you ladies, make sure uh, we'll hit you up in the chat after just to send more love and praise. Okay, good night, y'all. Bye-bye. Good night.